Hi friends, it's Rhonda from Joy Junctique. I want to welcome all my new subscribers and all of you that have stuck with me. And I am nearly, I'm so close to a thousand. I told y'all way back that um, once I reached my goal on YouTube, I wanted to do another giveaway here on YouTube. So that'll be coming up soon. Um, I'm so excited and I just appreciate y'all's support. Well, today I just wanted to show you something that I kind of accidentally discovered. Um, so I had bought some foil at Dollar Tree just to get by because I didn't have time to go anywhere else. And this is supposed to be heavy duty. It is like paper thin, it's super, super thin. Almost, it reminds me of silver leaf. It's not as thin as silver leaf, but it really reminds me of it. So. It definitely didn't work for in the kitchen, but I didn't want to throw it away. So I thought there's got to be something I can do with it in my crafting. So I'm going to show you what I did and how I ended up with all these really pretty goodies from that really cheap foil. Um, and it was just super easy, but it ended up, you know, like I did this and it made this beautiful little, um, almost dually looking. But um, I'm just going to go through here and show you what I did. Um, so some of them I uh, chalk painted, sanded down to reveal the silver. Um, but I'll just get started and show you exactly what I did. Okay, so I got my green mat to go under to keep my table from getting messed up. First thing I do is just tear off some foil. It's kind of hard to tear it without cleaning it up, but. And then I just save all my cardstock scraps. And this is actually just an old index card that I coffee dyed. So I'm just gonna get enough paper to fill up my full. So here's another index card, and here's just some strips that I had left from cutting off of something else. So I'm just lining it up, seeing what fits. Then I'm going to take some Mod Podge. This is actually matte. You can use whatever you have. You can use glue, but I just am going to Mod Podge it with this matte. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my Mod Podge. And just put it down on my foil. And then I'll lay my paper down. Make sure you get the edges too because you don't want any of it coming up. And you can do it on the paper instead of the full. If that's easier. I'm just going to glue all of them down to your full. This gets a little hard to hold. So glue them down. Don't have to be straight. Just slap it on there. Last one. Okay, so here I am just smoothing out all the bubbles, making sure that it's good and um, glued down. Okay, so I let these dry. Once these are dry, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them apart. And this is a really good way to use up that, that pool and you can find this probably at any of the dollar stores because what they consider heavy duty is not that great so any of it's thin and you can buy the really thin even and it might be better I'm not sure I'll have to try that next time 
think I've had a CV and it will definitely be for crafts and not for the kitchen. But it's kind of like an easy way to make your own foil cardstock. Because that stuff gets expensive. It's a little more trouble, but honestly, I think I like it better. Because it leaves all of these little added features in it. Kind of makes it look a little more um, vintage and rustic and just aged. So, you know me. That's my favorite. So it's good to do up a bunch of these and have them ready to emboss or use the die cuts on, which I'll show you in a minute on some more. But they go really fast. You just want to, um, when you glue them down, I don't know if I showed y'all that. I don't know if I've had to cut that out of the video or not. I've had lots of interruptions. But whenever you do glue them down, you just want to make sure and smooth them out really good the best you can so they adhere. So that full adheres to the cardstock good. And you'll still have spots where it may come loose, but that's okay. You just work around it. I think it'll be worth the trouble based on what, how my others turned out. So, okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and emboss and do a few die cuts and I'll be back. Okay, so here I have all of my embossing folders that I'm going to use. Most of them are by Sizzix and I'm going to use my cuddle bug and I'm just going to put those, um, the sheets of tinfoil cardstock that I just finished into those embossing folders and emboss them and see what effects I get. So this one, um, I thought it turned out really cool and I love um, just the effect that this tinfoil gives it. And if you're interested in the embossing folders, these are all by Sizzix. And, um, they work really well for this and here's the little die cut that also emboss that I used and here's another little small embossing folder so those are those in case any of you are wondering this is magnolia doohickey dies that I'm using today um, and they this is the brand right here so most of the time I find these on eBay or also the Magnolia website. There's several places if you just Google them. So I'll try to put some links below though. And for the other one I used, this is the other one that looks like the Dooley. And it's by Gemini. So that's that one if you're interested in that. Alright, so I got some stuff cut out and embossed. And so I'm just going to trim it. And you can wait and do this after if you want. Okay, so we've got these really pretty, cute little die cuts and embossing. And so now I'm going to get out my wax. So I have two different shades here. This is more of a bronze and this is more of a gold. And so I'll show you the effects of those. And then I also have this. It's Walnut Ink Antiquing Solution, but I'm sure it, it just kind of is like a liquid ink, like a, it's a watery spray. So all I did, I got me a little box here so I wouldn't spray it all over my, my desk and my furniture that's right beside my desk. So, um, I just put it in a box with some, some, uh, paper towels. And so I'm just going to give it a little squirt. And then I got, I just took a little foam brush and I just kind of rubbed it all around, covering all the surface. And you could use any color, it doesn't have to be these brown colors, I'm just, I was trying to get like an aged effect. So just spray more if you need it. 
just kind of get it in all those little crevices and some places seem to stick better than others I'm not sure why but they do so then I just get a paper towel and I just kind of blotted it and if you like that effect that's perfect then but I went a little step further and just kind of rubbed it completely um, to where you didn't have any of it still wet. Just kind of did it like that. And then I went back with my sponge, which still has some in it. And just kind of blotted those spots that didn't have as much, maybe just to see if they took it better once it rubbed in there a little bit. And so just do it gently because you can see where I was a little bit rough and I kind of smushed it. And also rub gently because you don't want that full to come loose from the paper. Um, especially since it's so thin. So we're just going to kind of rub it like that and remove the spots. And so you get this kind of a antique feel to it kind of looks like ceiling tile or that's been in a house for years um and that was the effect with this so i'm gonna spray just a little more keep rubbing it you can keep adding to get a deeper effect Pretty. So I'm going to lay that aside. And I'm going to move my box. Okay, so now I'm just going to lay some... I don't know if any of you use those shipping labels, but I save all the paper that's left because it works really good for projects like this. So I'm going to save these, I think, to show you the chalk paint. these I'm going to go ahead and antique so I'm going to use this gold on one and I'll do it with my finger but you don't have to you could do it however you normally do I just find it's easier when I use my finger. So I'm just kind of rubbing that so it gets in those little creases. Alright, now I'm going to show you the other color. This is a little bit more bronzy. And actually, you will see it better once we do the next step. So there's that one. And there's that one. You can kind of see a difference. It's very subtle. You'll see more of a difference in a minute. And then I just take a baby wipe and it comes off just so that it's not that I'm trying to save the sheet it's just that I don't want to get the wax on anything else that doesn't need to so I'm gonna let these dry for a minute and then we'll come back in a minute and put some more Mod Podge over these so I'm gonna move these aside and we'll go ahead and put our chalk paint on the others and let those dry so I'm just using the Waverly chalk and the plaster Okay, so here I'm just applying that chalk paint, um, just a, a thin coat, just all the way, you know, just to cover good. And um, I just like how it is very, um, has well, you know, the chalky look about it. And then as you sand it, then you see the, the shine from the, the full underneath. So I just like that combination. Um, and then as a base, it um, is, is really cool, you know, when you add things on top of it. So here I am 
just um, putting my Mod Podge over the top of that stain and the wax that I put on these and you can see how it just brings out that color so much brighter than what you saw it before so it um, it definitely adds to the the depth of the color in these and um, then it also dries and it will protect it um, you know from coming off on anything okay so here I'm just gonna give these a light sand um, I'm just kind of cleaning off my space here getting ready but um, I'm just gonna take that little sanding block and I'm gonna go lightly over it not to pull the foil off but just to kind of pull some of that chalk paint off and reveal the the silver foil underneath so just do um, you know down the edges to kind of define those lines and then you can lightly do over the top and um, just to kind of to show a few little streaks here and there that kind of add some more color and give you a really good base for um, you know adding all those pretties that you're going to put on top I just love the effect um, you know some people may say okay so why do the full why not just do the chalk paint but um, you know just in playing um, with all the different effects that I could get I just really liked how the chalk paint looked over it and then you know as you um, as you start sanding and adding and just imagine this in different colors too that would be fun like to use the different shades of the chalk paint um, that would you know add different colors and different effects that way too and depending on what look you're going for and your color scheme you know there's there's so many colors available now in chalk paint so that would be a fun option too and I just love these tiny little stars and hearts I just think they're precious um, and just would be so so cute added to your tags to your you know anything that you put in your journal or your other little projects this would be just so cute to add um, and if you don't mind taking the time you know to do the these steps then you know I think it'll be worth it um, to to take the time and do this so I had fun doing it and I think you know once you try it I think anybody else would enjoy it too so but I, um, I also love these little magnolia doohickey dies because they have the little distressing in them already and so it just makes it easy to to add extra distress and bring out those you know already uh, shaped shaped distress lines in there the little notches and the cutesy little things that are on there so so there's what I did with those and you can see the little silver shining through and then once I got through with that, then I just took a little piece of a napkin or paper towel or a cloth and went back over and got the extra dust and residue off of them so that they would be ready to glue all your pretties on. So, uh, and be sure and clean your little desk area so you don't have any, any dust that will get in your project that way either. Okay, so we've gotten our um, embossing stained and mod podged and it's dry now so I um, trimmed the edges the corners rounded those and then I just kind of gathered some stuff to layer so that's what that one can look like and then here's this one and I'm just gonna add a little bow little spot of music there just put on that beautiful and this is one of them that I had made with the chalk paint so I'm just gonna add it to the bottom like that so that's pretty much what that'll look like I just layered with doilies and then here's this one I'm just gonna show you this one I'm gonna cut this to fit and add this little butterfly, those little beads, and this little rose. And then I tied this bow at the top with the sheer ribbon. 
but I wanted to show you so this was the gold and I wanted to show you what the gold looked like on these because you can see it in the crevices better on this one and see how that full kind of wrinkles up and gives it a little bit more dimension and there's the wrinkles on that so when you emboss it and then do it it really gives you a lot of dimension so that's what those look like with the gold down in those crevices so this one I'm just going to um, put, put these things here that I showed you on there so I'll glue them all here in a little bit um, and then show pictures of the finished products this one I'm still working on layering this is with the copper color so I'll layer that up but I wanted to show you this was also the copper color and I love how it goes down in those crevices it's really pretty and here's one more up close this was with my antiquing spray which to me is just like um, your bottled ink that you could use do the same effect I tried it with my ink pad but it didn't it didn't turn out as well but it could just be that my ink pad is low so just try different techniques and see what you can come up with but I just love all of the texture in there so there's that now this one I actually did with um, it's like a, a wax type um, cream except it was dried up and it was like that when I bought it but it had said that it if it did that just to add water but so when I added the water it kind of kind of went through and kind of pulled off some of the silver um, but then I just went back over it with Mod Podge and then I took my my ink and used my little dauber and just went across the top of them and to bring out those letters so it's still usable it's not exactly what I was hoping for but it's still usable and, and has a really antique look so that works too so here's this one without the picture on it um, since I haven't glued it yet it'll give you a really good look of it up close turned out really nice so I'm gonna get busy um, finishing these up and I'll come back and show the finished product and this is the one with the chalk paint and how I sanded them so I'm just gonna go through and layer here's some that I have already finished I don't think I showed y'all those up close earlier so there's those they turn out really cute and you can either add them to your other tags and things or you can you know hang them off add a paper clip um, you could add a little bolt pin and hang them off of your your pages so they're just really sweet really really cute and really easy just using little tiny scraps so I'll be back in a minute something else I wanted to show is how I got this effect kind of looks like gold leafing and you can do it on um, scrapbook paper you can do it on cardstock whatever it is that you want to make it look like gold leaf um, so all I did so I took my piece of cardstock and I got some Mod Podge glue and I just got it all over really good whatever area you want to cover and then I took my pool and I kind of wrinkled it and glued it okay so I've trimmed it and I'm gonna let it sit and dry really good and you can use your heat gun if that helps Okay, so once it's good and dry, then I'm just going to take my little sanding block here. And I'll clean it off gently. The key is gently.
Okay, so once you've got it sanded, you're just gonna kind of get the excess off, get the dust, and then you can take and run it through a dot with a die cut. I'm thinking this would be pretty with angel wings or something like that, but you can just use it to create whatever you want then. Um, and it just kind of gives that silver leaf effect. So it's that simple. Okay, so here are my angel wings. And you'll notice there's a spot there that doesn't have anything. Those spots are easy to fix because all you have to do is go back with your glue and add a little bit more full and then just sand again. So it um, it's not a big deal if it didn't, if some of it came off in spots you didn't want it to. So just go back and redo those spots with the glue and the full and then sand them a little bit and distress them. So there's angel wings. Here's a key. And then I thought I would make some crosses. So there's just a different effect that you can get to make it look like silver leaf and using the die cuts. So now I'm just gonna put some music on and let you see the process of decorating a couple of these tags and I'll see you in a minute.
just going to show you all the things that we've made. I just love, absolutely love how these turned out. Just with the little bits and pieces added to them. They just turned out so cute. Um, so those are the little tiny, tiny tags that I had chalk painted and uh, sanded. And then this one was the one that I did the silver leaf on. Uh, you know that silver leaf effect and I did go ahead and cut those angel wings out and kind of left them raised from the tag they just turned out really pretty too and I also had a little bit of chalk paint to those just to kind of tone them down now this one um, is that gold tag and I just got all that stuff glued on there and it looks really pretty too this one was the copper one or the, I say copper, it's actually bronze and it's actually the king's gold. So um, I just, I love how that turned out with that little rose colored bow. Um, it just looked really pretty. And then this one, I added one of the tiny tags to it and just added um, the image that's actually printed on vellum. So you can see what's underneath there through it. And then this one was the one I showed you earlier that I added the little bow and I think the music too. So it it's all glued down now, so it looks really pretty too. I just love the layers and the textures and just all of it together. And this one turned out pretty with that, um, that embossing folder. I just love how it all came together. And all these images, um, except for the vellum one, all of the images are from my own collection. So um, I just, I wanted to use them somehow. So I printed them out and this is the little French girl. And I just layered her up too with the, the pretty um, sheer fabric and bows and stuff. So I hope you all like these. And I hope you enjoyed everything that we did today. And I hope you'll try them because they're really fun. Um, so go get you that cheap tin full and have some fun and I will see you next time. Bye.